You stand in the streets of ancient Antioch, where Caesar's legions proclaimed his pagan power and the lash enforced his law. Ride the trade routes to the holy city, then as now, torn by strife and doubt, where Joseph and Luke guarded the grail, then across the sea to the grandeur that was Rome, where imperial Nero, corrupt and sensuous, wiled away the glory of an empire. And you'll know the intrigues and the jealousies, the infatuations and the fiery loves, the mortal conflicts and the immortal moments of the people whose lives were strangely woven into the destiny of the cup. Deborah, who found her soul and her faith, but lost her heart to a pagan. Simon the magician, who tried to fight an ideal with an idea. Helena, the slave who ruled the man who nearly ruled the world. Basil, the pagan, whose gifted hands shape the silver chalice. But all the symbols and relics of his supremacy must be crushed out of existence. I am told one such exists, a wine cup which he used. I charge you to find it and bring it to me, and together we will crush it. Now let me see those knives. Helen, I love you. You must leave Simon and come to Rome with me. I love you, as I've never loved any other man. It would have been very easy, Deborah, when we were in the desert, to yield to the temptation to be your husband. I confess I was trying to take advantage of my last hour alone with you. This woman of his secretly conspired with Peter to destroy him. Oh, it is not true! Take this woman to the top of the tower and throw it off. Thank you.